Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome back to FTD Speaks. Okay, here is, uh, I think, a pretty exciting video coming up, pretty interesting. Prophet Muhammad being mentioned by Jesus and prophesied in the Bible. Hmm, let's get into this one. Where did Jesus announce the coming of Muhammad? Where? That's the question. Peace and blessing be upon him. Well, first of all, I do not quote Bible. I say to you that in your scriptures, there is such and such evidence. But I don't use the Bible as a proof because I'm not a Bible authority. But I say in your scripture, there is such and such a proof. If you will read carefully in your Bible, you will find that when Jesus Christ was in the upper room in the Garden of Gethsemane, you remember that story, don't you? He was with his disciples and they asked him, oh rabbi, what shall happen to us when you leave us? He said, fear not, for I will send unto you the comforter and you will know him because when he comes, he will speak of me. And he will not speak of himself, but whatsoever he hears from God, that shall he speak. And your hearts and your minds are not prepared, but so be it. When he, the comforter, comes, he will make all things plain for you. And what he receives from God, that shall remain with you forever. Now, these are four prophecies yeah. that Jesus made to his disciples. What's the first one? He will speak of me. In the Quran, there's a chapter called Maryam, which means what? Mary. God revealed to Muhammad the Quran and one of the 114 chapters is named after the mother of Jesus Christ. Now is that speaking of Jesus Christ and confirming him? Yes. In that chapter, it speaks about the birth of Mary, it speaks about the birth of Jesus Christ and all of his miracles and his life and his worship and his sacrifice and God said clearly to us, neither was he crucified nor was he killed. Now don't you think that in a book that God revealed to Muhammad وسلم, if he mentioned Jesus mother Mary don't you think that God should have named one of those chapters after Muhammad's mother he didn't because that wasn't necessary it was necessary to name one chapter after Jesus's mother or Jesus because Jesus said what he will mention me he will confirm oh, me it was a prophecy. Did that. second mm. thing he said he will not speak of himself, not words from himself, but whatsoever he hears, that shall he speak. Brother, can you recite the ayah? Say yeah. refuge is Allah from the accursed devil. The name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. He, Muhammad, does not speak of his own desire. Hmm. But it, the Quran is inspiration inspired down in him. He was taught this Quran by one mighty and power angel, Gabriel. Okay. He goes in eyes where the horizon. Okay. This verse of the Quran says concerning Muhammad, peace and blessing be upon him, that Muhammad, he does not speak from his own feeling. His own desire. But whatsoever he hears from Almighty God, from revelation, inspiration, that is what he speaks. Is that what Jesus said? Yep. Thirdly, he said, your hearts and your minds are not prepared now, but how be it when he the comforter comes, that counselor comes, he will make all things plain to you. The Quran says, verily this is a book that makes all things plain and clear. Is that what Jesus said? The fourth thing, he says that whatsoever he re receives from God shall remain with you forever. The Quran has been intact as it was revealed for 1424 years since it was revealed. And that's what Jesus Christ said. Hmm. So very clear, simple explanation and always a big debate comes out of this topic because Christians and Muslims don't see eye to eye in this. 
Muslims, as the man said, don't necessarily quote the Bible because like they believe in all aspects of the Bible. But the things that align with the Quran, they Muslims say, yeah, yeah, there, there's truth, some truth there. But this prophecy that Jesus made, Muslims say this is Muhammad. And here are the evidences. Here's evidence from Muhammad's life and it clearly he will be talking about Muhammad even your own scriptures Christians talk about this Christians on the other hand say it's, it's not Muhammad Muhammad doesn't fulfill all the criteria and the Christians have their reasons and they say well no he's actually prophesying the Holy Spirit coming because that language is used the Holy Spirit the, the spirit of truth as well as the term comforter is used but with Christians and, and Muslims I, I think the Muslim explanation is a little bit more clear, a little bit more tangible, just easier to understand and grasp. And, and, and here's why. Because if you're saying that these prophecies, were, you know, apply to a man, well, there's evidence of Muhammad living and he, their writings and, and things and, and, and accounts of Muhammad that he was a person and he lived, he was born, he died. And here's such and such such evidence. It's a lot easier than trying to provide proof of the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit, even in Christianity, there's so many different beliefs about what the Holy Spirit is or who the Holy Spirit is. Is the Holy Spirit a part of God? Is the Holy Spirit also God? Is the Holy Spirit just the power of God and can't necessarily think on his own? This is why the scriptures say whatever he hears, that's what he'll do because he's not necessarily a person. It's just using the he pronoun to refer to God's power. You know, there's so many different beliefs about Holy Spirit, but in Islam, it's just, no, nope, Muhammad, and that's it. And no Muslim is gonna dispute that. It's not nope, Muhammad, very simple, easy to follow. One big point though that I didn't bring up yet is, and, and, and he didn't touch on it in the video either, was that he said that whatever the Holy Spirit hears from God, that's what he will reveal. But there's a passage in the Bible that Jesus is saying, whatever the Holy Spirit hears me say, like whatever I say, that's what he's going to communicate. So the issue with that is, is there evidence in Islam that Prophet Muhammad got revelation from Jesus directly? Because Islam teaches that Jesus didn't die, he wasn't crucified, he was just caught up to heaven. So technically Jesus would still be alive, yes, and he possibly could have given Muhammad some revelation throughout his life by God's permission. But I don't have any evidence of that yet. I haven't read any hadith or any uh, Islamic uh, commentary on this yet but in the Bible it does say that Jesus himself he's at times or at least it, it signifies at times maybe fully and completely he's the one that's commanding the Holy Spirit what to do or there could just be another explanation for this that I just haven't heard yet so uh, I'll put up the passage on the screen in the Bible. You can check the reference. I'll, I'll put up the verse as well, too. So, yeah, let me know what you think about this, guys, because this always sparks a big discussion. Who is being prophesied here? And always, again, there is some back and forth in this topic because, well, again, Muslims don't necessarily believe the Bible or at least all the things written in the Bible. So it's a little bit harder for I think Muslims to build a case for Islam directly from the Bible because uh, in Christianity there is their own way of interpretation and their own doctrine and their own set of beliefs that they stack up as well that may not necessarily be an even comparison with how Muslims stack up their doctrine, if that makes sense. So it's not always, I think, 50-50 uh, uh, split in terms of understanding. So how do we gain understanding from what is being said? Again, though, I do think that Muslims, they have a clearer train of thought when it comes to interpreting those biblical passages because it just stops at a person. But in Christianity, I know there are some solid points made and it's just not as clear when communicating, you know, who or what the Holy Spirit is. The Holy Spirit is also a very ambiguous language, so it's not necessarily as clear. Either way, that's where I'm going to end off this episode, guys. Really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. I do have some related videos for you in the video description section for you to check out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.